Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little bit of a like midweek kind of Bible moment, but I'm not going to share any verses today. This is more me explaining my process. Um, and I want to talk about how I decide what I read. So there's a whole lot of advice when it comes to this, and there's a whole lot of online things like plans and monthly calendars you can follow to determine what you read in the Bible every day um, if you are looking for something. So I want to show you how my approach has kind of shifted um, and why I think it was for the better. So when I first started diving deeper into getting into a routine with reading my Bible, I would literally just let it fall open and read where it fell open. Um, it's a super easy way to just jump straight in and how can that be bad, right? Because you're reading the Bible. There have been a couple of people that have mentioned things about it that I kind of really got struck by and I realized the pitfalls that that can put you in like the the kind of easy ways you can get off track doing that and the biggest way is taking verses out of context so if you're reading just a little snippet from random places you are not getting the context for those little snippets you're not getting what's written around them. And that is not helpful when you're trying to study and understand and deepen your understanding of the Bible. So I discovered the YouVersion app, which you guys know I absolutely love. And um, they have plans. They have plans that are just a few days long. They have monthly plans, they have yearly plans. And I now go off of their plans. Um, so I will follow a plan and even if I don't read it on my phone, but I will like look at what the verses are and then look it up in my physical Bible because I wanna read it in my physical Bible that time, then I will. And then I'll just mark it as red in the app so I'm still tracking it. Um, so it can be a way of tracking what you're reading even if you aren't physically reading it in the app. And the yearly ones are really great because you don't have to reevaluate or redecide what you're going to read or what plan you're going to follow in a week or a month. You have it set for you for the whole year. and. I like that and it kind of sets an intention for your Bible study for the year when you do that you are setting a goal for it for a year that you can see where you're at at the end of the year and I think that's really good so I currently am reading chronologically through the Bible in the app um, sometimes I read it in the app sometimes I have the app read it to me because they have the narrators where you can listen to it and sometimes I'll just look up the verses. Like a lot of the times on my day off, this is what I'll do when I have a little more time. I'll look up the verses in my physical Bible and read them and then just mark them as read in the app. So that is now how I determine what to read. Um, there are still times where there's a specific section I wanna read, so I'll flip to that. Like during the Christmas time, I'll add a Christmas plan and I'll read like through Luke. Um, just because it's that time of year and I love the Christmas story. Um, but other than that, I really have loved seeing the Bible in that way, reading it through like that. And I am on a mission to chronologically read through the whole entire Bible. And while I have not finished, I have made pretty decent progress and I'm really proud of it. And this might be something I do regularly. I have heard of people reading chronologically through the Bible every year. So beginning of the year, they start over again after they just finished. 
and I don't think that's a bad idea, especially because chronologically you can see how things play out so well. So that is what I'm doing. I would love to hear how you guys decide what you read or what plans you like to follow. Do you use the Uversion app? Because I love it. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. Make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.